Concussions are often associated with sports injuries caused by hard checks in hockey or things like rough tackles in football. But soldiers also take hard knocks and as CTV's Heidi Petrachik explains, researchers want Canadian veterans to make one last sacrifice to better understand brain injuries. I had multiple concussions. And Canadian Armed Forces veteran Dennis Minouge clearly recalls one in particular. I didn't know who anybody was around me for almost an hour. Known for his successful legal fight against Veterans Affairs, Minouge's battle now is one of recovery from military injuries and PTSD. He says it was hockey star Sidney Crosby's openness about his concussions on the ice that got Minouge thinking about his own brain health. And after finding out about Project Enlist Canada, he decided to donate his brain to science after death. First thing I did was let my wife know, because you never know when it's our time's up, our time's up. I spent 26 years as a combat engineer in the Canadian Armed Forces, and I'm affected by brain injury. Project Enlist Canada is reaching out to veterans in a research partnership to create awareness and understanding of chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, a degeneration of the brain due to repeated head traumas, like those suffered by professional athletes like football players. It can only be accurately diagnosed by autopsy. CTE symptoms, similar to PTSD, says the initiative's outreach coordinator. And we've got a lot of veterans who are misdiagnosed or cross-diagnosed with PTSD. You need to start asking these questions. Enter former CFL player and 14-year Canadian Armed Forces veteran Ryan Carey, now passionate about the effort to create a bank of post-mortem brain tissue for men and women who served in the Canadian military. Doctors, uh, therapists that may, may, not, may not be looking for head injury, to, well, you're in Afghanistan, so you must have trauma from that. That's all valid. But understand the amount of head injury veterans face during their careers. Researching veterans' brains will give us insights on how to stop the injuries in their tracks and treat them. Neuroradio chemist Neil Vazdev's goal, find a way to scan the living brain to detect CTE in time to start meaningful treatment. I'm hopeful that we will be doing this in the next uh, three to five years. And that means treatment protocols are going to come from that, reporting protocols are going to come from that. All which would mean hope, say project organizers, for anyone suffering the devastating effects of repeated brain trauma. Heidi Petrachik, CTV News, Halifax.